We're on the grounds of Al-Aqsa. It's one of the holiest places in the Islamic religion. And so we've come here today on one of the holiest nights of Ramadan. The crowds are huge. So if anything happens, it could potentially be very dangerous for the people that are here. It's nighttime prayers for Palestinian Muslims. And this year... Wow. Guys, do you... I can't believe Vice News is showing this. I mean, look at how menacingly they're praying to Allah. I mean, think about that, guys. What if Allah answers their wishes with a space laser? Yeah, I bet you didn't think about that, dude. Thankfully, uh, you know, the IDF is there to stop them uh, from doing so. Because they know. They know what the, the power of Muslimic ray guns uh, look like. Muslimic ray guns. Israeli forces showed up unannounced. <laughs> You can see that there is Israeli police actually inside, in the grounds of Al-Aqsa. That's what triggered the protests, and that's what triggered the anger today. Palestinians feel like they're being pushed out of East Jerusalem. They say Israel is upping its efforts to redraw the borders of the city. But Israel claims it belongs to them, despite the United Nations saying it's an occupation, illegal under international law. The Israeli police have been arresting loads of Palestinian children. Two Palestinians are retaliating because so many... So I need you to see this, okay? I need you to see this because, like, the reason why this is important uh, for you to understand is, like, one, this is occupied uh, Palestinian land. But not only that, but also, like, this is what started the conflict or this version of the conflict beyond, like, the everyday existence of Palestinians being brutalized. Not only that, but also, this is not defensive. This happened as a first act. This happened, and that's, that's why, uh, like, Hamas asked for this to stop before the ongoing conflict occurred. I just want you to understand that i want you to recognize know, and understand that well. this is the the beginning of this uh this version of like this iteration of the event A young man has been taken away by police hold on you saying people just came here to worship and you're giving them shit. That water is, by the way, that water is called skunk water. That water is, it, it smells horrible. Like, it's not even regular water. It's not even just pressurized water, but it's skunk water that is, uh, that you're supposed to get fucking sprayed with, and it just, like, fucking smells like shit. Wow, he's violently telling his uh, child never to forget the the acts of cruelty that they were subjected to today. East Jerusalem is important to Jews, Muslims, and Christians. It's also the site of the sacred Jewish Temple Mount. But most of the people who live in this part of the city are Palestinians. That's been slowly changing since Israel captured the area in 1967 and started moving in settlers. This house باب بنا بسنة الألفين لأنه تزوج وجابنا فصار بده مساحة أكبر بس بابا أنها بناء البيت عمرنا ما سكننا yeah that's the that's the greatest debate is like whenever okay so this is a part this is actually really interesting i don't even think i've talked about this before whenever you build like a separate unit into your house the the settlers will come in and be like well that's uh inappropriate uh that we're gonna take that part of your house and they'll literally just like you build like a fucking outhouse and they're like nope we're taking it Thank you, Afrix26. Hello. That's Hello. it. Hi. That's him. How are you? Hi. Thank God, still alive. Yeah. You're a you're a difficult man to get hold of. Yes. Um, this is Jacob Fauci. Oh my God, his last name is Fauci. Oh my God. This is the famous Jacob who came from Brooklyn and literally settled in this family's apartment straight up. It's Palestine such a fucking insane thing that it's like, it's such an insane thing that if I were to tell you that a Jewish guy from Brooklyn went and settled in some Palestinian person's apartment and then literally said like, if I don't steal this, someone else will, without showing you the video, you would be like, dude, that is so anti-Semitic. Like you're just fucking lying. Like you're, you're a liar and an anti-Semite. Like you are, 
This is a cartoonish depiction that you are engaging in. Like, it's so fucked up. But it, this is literally the fucking truth. Like, he literally did this. Generally don't interview. I mean, he's just, listen, he, that's, bro, he's just doing his culture, bro. That's America shit, okay? What Jacob is doing here is real America shit. Uh, sorry, sweaty. Have you thought about how uh, I have to do settler colonialism because I am an American? But uh, given the circumstances and the bad press that's out there, decided that uh, we need to do some damage control. Jacob Fauci is an American Israeli. He became infamous after Mana confronted him and the video went viral. Jacob, you know this is not your house. Yes, but if I go, you don't go back. So what's the problem? Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do this. Yeah, you are watching. stealing my house. And if I don't steal it, someone else is going to steal it. No, no one, no one uh, uh, is allowed to steal it, Yammi. How did you end up here? It's a long story. Basically, I needed to move from where I was, and um, my friend it was, was very, very active in this neighborhood. And he said, you can stay here for the time being. Do you pay rent? I have an arrangement with, uh, with the owners of the house. I don't want to get into personal arrangements and rents and things, but yes, I'm a tenant here. I'm not, I have no ownership over this property. You're from Brooklyn? No, I'm from New York, from Long Island. From New York. What right do you have to live here? The right I have is that the owner of the house wants me to live here. And he wants there to be Jews living in this house, and he wants to... And I, I got chosen for whatever reason, it ended up being me. So why do you live here? So, because I live here, because it's important, and because not too many people want to live here, and it's important to, to strengthen this neighborhood, to make sure that this neighborhood is not lost in any future peace deal. Bro, that is... I mean, that's genocide, homie. Like, he's literally just like, no, we are doing ethnic displacement. Like, he's just on camera being like, we want to do ethnic displacement in this uh, otherwise Palestinian neighborhood. And, like, I am a fucking pawn in this battle. Like, I myself am using my fucking... This is bodies and spaces, bro. That's what he's doing, okay? We need to do bodies and spaces. <laughs> This is not their ancestral lands. They've not been here for generations. They came here in 1956 because they had nowhere else to be and somebody at least- Yeah, literally, dude. They came there in 1956 with accordance to the United Nations Refugee Association, okay? A refugee agency. They were given that land because they originally were expelled from Haifa. It's not like they came from fucking Brooklyn, you goddamn animal. They came there from Haifa. They were displaced originally, so they came, so they were resettled in that area. Legally put them here. Whatever they're accusing me of is, is, is no different from what they're doing and what they did. So your but position it, here is a political position to keep Palestinians out of it. Not to keep Palestinians out of it, to keep Jews in it. And therefore not keep out. the Palestinians who were here out of it. No, no that, that's not, no. <laughs> so who the fuck was in it, asshole? Who was there? Oh, Dog, you're from Long Island, okay? You have no ancestral, like, claim to this territory. You're from Long Island, homie. That's an un that's a, that's a necessary evil. Whatever situation is, and that's what I was trying to explain in that viral video, they're not coming back here. This part of the house for sure is lost. The second part of the house, unless there's some major miracle, is going to be lost. And they're not coming back into here. So whether I am here, whether I am not here, whether it's me, whether it's someone else, whether it's a monkey, whether it's a giraffe, they're not coming back into this house ever. I understand why they're angry at me. I understand why they dislike me. But I did not do this to them. I'm not doing this to them. And as I said, if I leave, I'll be replaced immediately. And I venture to think that whoever comes here is not going to be as easygoing as I am. Free Palestine. Bro, come on, bro. I'm like a I'm like a chill uh, occupier, dude. I'm just like kind of fucking chill with my occupation. Like, why can't you just don't you recognize that whoever comes in after me is not gonna be as chill as me? <laughs> you know, I'm the kind of occupier that you can smoke blunts with, you know? Just be thankful. <laughs> Dude, that's a that's fucking nuts, dude. That's when your everyday reality as an occupier is so fucking clouded. It's that's crazy. Fun. It's just crazy. Jacobs and the Halat Shimon International's unyielding stance is being challenged both inside the neighborhood and in court, where lawyers representing the families argue it's illegal under international law to displace anyone from occupied land. Just a reminder that the people doing this to the Palestinians there are an occupying army. 
okay? Like, they don't have their own fucking police force. They don't have anything. It's just an army that is treating them like enemy combatants, and they're fucking peacefully protesting in their own neighborhood. Think about America, right? Think about the USA, where we talk about, like, our police force brutally mistreating our own citizens, like, beating the shit out of our own citizens. Like, they don't have that. This is it. This is, like, the fucking brutal occupying force that is uh is operating like their police force israel allows jews to return to their homeland but not palestinians i want to ask you why you've taken the man motherfucking thumb dude look at this thumb bro hey look at that hey cop phrenology is back on the market boys hey back the blue boys what are you gonna do born to be a cop dude literally this guy Did it i mean even the lady is thumb like dude they got those done they done got those lady thumbs life. too i mean how are you gonna tell me this guy wasn't born to be a cop you can't that guy popped out of his his mother's pussy Pussy, being like all right it's time to regulate time. what's going on i need to do an ocular pat down on the doctor you know let's assess the situation kinetically like th this guy's a thumb straight up from birth born a thumb forced to cop i want to ask you why i want to ask you why you've taken the man nahala chimon international did not respond to our request for comment aria king a right-wing activist who was appointed one of east jerusalem's deputy mayors last year says the this guy is a fucking freak. This dude, literally insane. Just wait to hear what he has to say about Palestinians. Absolutely a fucking freak. Aria King. A also a, a cop skull on this motherfucker too. Right-wing activist who was appointed one of East Jerusalem's deputy mayors last year. Right-wing activist, right which is code word for psychopathic ultra-nationalist Zionist who's bloodthirsty for the genocide of all Palestinians. Let me just like, let me translate that from American speak for you, okay? To the Jewish people. When we are Jews in the States, in Australia, in England, in Jerusalem, we are facing to one place. Haram al-Sharif, Mount, Temple Mount. That, I mean, that's religion. Of course. Talking about a religion when you're talking about people and the land and where they live, is it irrelevant? Absolutely. So you can't really justify ownership over religion when there are so many different types of Arabs? Of course not, but I'm just ex explaining that what we are, what, the way that we see Yerushalayim, it's different way than any other religion. As a Jew, you can live. Oh, never mind then, dude. Uh, yeah, just murder all the Palestinians then. My bad, bro. Sorry. Hey, we'll just step outside. You do your thing, dude. Sorry, dude. Oh, shit, dude. It, you see it differently. Oh, okay. I didn't realize Jerusalem was exclusively holy for uh, just the Jews. I, I didn't realize that. My bad. All the other Abrahamic religions, whether they're Christian or Muslim, like, ha <laughs> ha. Well, we see it differently. So my bad, bro. He's literally just like, it doesn't matter. I, I, I it's just uh, Jews see it better than others. You can be the most Orthodox Jew if you don't live in Yerushalayim, you cannot uh, keep the entire commitment of God. Do you want to see a Sheikh Jarrah that is Jewish? Of course. Without Arabs? I want to see Jews, okay. yes. Deputy mayor, by the way, dude. <laughs> He, he literally is like, uh, I hope you get a fucking bullet to your dome to some Palestinian dude. I remember seeing that video. As the neighborhood waits. God damn, that's a fucking nice ass cab, dude. Holy shit. Wait, let me check the license plates. One second. Oh, huh, look at the color on the license plates on that cab. Hmm. hmm. I mean, not an apartheid state, by the way. Nice uh, Mercedes uh, cab with the yellow license plates. What does that mean again, boys? Oh, that means they can go everywhere because it's an Israeli license plate. Whereas the Palestinians in their own neighborhoods can't go anywhere because they have the green license plate. Hey, fuck this piece of shit. This, this man is a fucking animal, uh, not a man. What a psycho. What a sick freak. On another night, 
Police detained Munna's younger brother and held him for hours when he was trying to go home. That's uh, that's uh, Mohammed Kurd's uh, twin. I'm pretty sure, right? Doesn't he have a twin? Remember, Americans love Americans love talking about how like, yeah, hell yeah, brother, I got a right to defend. You know, my Second Amendment is to protect the first. But like, as soon as uh, Palestinians are like uh, subjected to this sort of shit, they're like, uh, they, yeah, why don't they just like roll over and die? That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> may god not bless you may god break your arms you haiwan son of a bitch oh i love that dude that's awesome <laughs> uh haiwan as ramadan neared its end palestinians flocked to al-aqsa mosque and israeli police once again stormed in Hundreds of people were injured, but many medics were prevented from entering. We've been outside for a while, they wouldn't let us in. We've now made it into the ground. There are the remnants of sun grenades everywhere. East Jerusalem is at the heart of the Palestine Israel conflict. And right now, it's exploded. Put the joint, add the Palestinians are taking refuge inside an Aqsa mosque. Remember, bro, they said the doors were open. So, you know, sorry, we had the stun grenade the inside of the mosque. While Palestinians barricaded themselves in the mosque, close by, right-wing Israelis, including Arya King, celebrated the day to Israel captured for the record, this is why they did it. I just want to let you know. Remember the 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 deputy mayor of Tel Aviv on his last broadcast? We watched this video uh, a couple days back on this on the show where the deputy mayor of Tel Aviv, who used to be like a like a left leaning commentator on television, said, "We brutally suppress and occupy Palestinians on our holy days on purpose uh, ahead of time, where they have to idly sit by, their lives ruined, just so we can celebrate." That is precisely why this uh, Al Aqsa Mosque shit happened, so that because they were gearing up for Jerusalem Day, which is inherently a fucking genocidal holiday, okay? Sorry, Jerusalem Day celebrates the occupation, the illegal occupation of the West Bank. It celebrates the illegal occupation of Jerusalem. It is completely illegal. And also, it is a very far-right, ultra-nationalist, ultra-Zionist, reactionary-ass holiday, where uh, during Flag Day, they just, like, walk through the entirety of Palestinian neighborhoods and sometimes beat the shit out of Palestinians that dare uh, speak out against them. So that's the reason why, because uh, they are going to the Wailing Wall in the end of it, if I'm not mistaken. That's the reason why they wanted to make sure that they violently and brutally suppressed the Palestinians that were also there celebrating the, the end of the holy month of Ramadan. Jerusalem in 1967. A lot is happening right now. An Aqsa, uh, what you call Jerusalem Day, Sheikh Jarrah. Do you think that this is a very delicate moment? It's a delicate moment like many other moments we have here. And we passed many moments like that. And we will pass this also. What do you want to see in the end? What would make you happy? To see the temple built at the, the Temple Mount, where the Dome of the Rock is the holy of holiness. We believe and we trust God, and we believe God, sorry, that it will happen. And we need to do everything that it will happen in our days. In retaliation for the storming of Al-Aqsa, Hamas, a Palestinian militant group that governs Gaza, fired on Israel. At least 13 civilians have been killed, including two children. Israel responded with a disproportionate show of force, leveling apartment buildings and newsrooms in one of the most densely populated places on earth. To escape is impossible. Israel has closed off the crossing into the blockaded strip. So far, over 200 Palestinians have been killed, including 61 children. 
There isn't blood, but I just want to be safe. When the bombing stops and the international community is no longer watching, Mana will still be fighting. <laughs> Israel's vaccinating everyone besides 5 million Palestinians. Yeah, that's a good title. What is this? It's absolutely horrendous what's happening in the I Middle East. I can't get it kid. out of my head. It is, Kathleen. You're Nazi absolutely is right for evil. once with your women's brain. Those poor, poor Israelis, Kathleen. They cannot live in peace at all. Every day their land is getting taken and their house is destroyed. I think you might be a little confused. You're the confusion, Kathleen. The Israelis are just minding their own business in their own country when all the terrorism's happened, Kathleen, completely and utterly out of the blue. And what about all those poor women and children? There's no women and children in Palestine, Kathleen. Everyone knows that. Every Palestinian is an Islamic fundamentalist man aged 18 to 34, approximately. I don't know now, Michael. I've seen a lot of women and children in the news. Propaganda, Kathleen. You have to watch out for that. That's pure propaganda. They were terrorists, Kathleen, in costumes dressed up as women and children trying to disrupt the lives the peaceful lives of the poor wonderful Israelis and what about those <laughs> also like this is funny but it's also like literally the exact same type of propaganda that you hear so like I know he is uh he's like Five joking miles, about huh? how conservatives positions are but like also it just sounds too similar to the to what uh we hear on a daily basis getting hit by all those missiles just for throwing stones they're not stones Kathleen they're small nuclear bombs Israel has a right to defend itself Kathleen uh, li listen for instance Imagine if I was driving down the road, Kathleen, and a young laddie threw a rock at my car. Do I not have a right to drive to his house, knock it down, stab his parents, shoot have all the neighbours in the face, the and if then poison the earth with chemicals so it's in inhospitable for future generations? You're an idiot, Michael. Yep. He's trying to make it sound insane for satire, but these are actual points. Yeah, literally. I don't understand. They threw a rock. We should be doing white phosphorus attacks uh, in perpetuity. It's like unironically the, the IDF position. So not for nothing. Not for fucking nothing.